welcome back. On Tuesday, March 31st at 8 p.m., the city of Elliott Lake issued this, warning their residents that a member of the Elliott Lake community has COVID-19. They were informed by Algoma Public Health. The city of Elliott Lake then decided to inform their residents. However, that's the only case we know of of the six in Algoma where we know the approximate location of the person who has COVID-19 because Algoma Public Health is not telling us. Now, here's the interesting thing about this one case. It started Tuesday, March 31st at 8 p.m. Elliot Lake told us how about the case. The next morning, when Algoma Public Health updated their numbers, they did not update the positive cases from five to six, even though they knew the night before, because in the actual release from LA Lake, it says Algoma Public Health told them, uh, and the numbers were not updated at April 1st, 8.30 a.m. in the morning, like they normally are. I waited till the next day, April the 2nd at 8.30 in the morning. There was no update at all. So what did I do? I emailed Algoma Public Health to the communications officer and I asked the following, could you please confirm the widely reported case in Elliott Lake? Also, what about today's numbers? Now I say it's widely reported, it was, on the, it was on other news in the north on TV stations, it was reported in papers, it was widely reported. In their response they would not confirm that there was a case in Elliott Lake. On top of that it said Numbers on our website will be updated as we receive results. Well, I sent that email on the morning of April the 2nd. Finally, on April the 2nd at 2.30 in the afternoon, we received the updated numbers for the Algoma region. The total amount of people tested stayed the same at 405. The positive cases jumped up from five to six finally, reflecting what we knew at 8 p.m. on March 31st, keeping in mind this is the afternoon of April the 2nd, the negative numbers stayed the same and so did the pending. So when you add them up, they actually don't add up to 405. They add up to 406. They, they're saying between April 1st at 8.30 a.m. and April 2nd on, on 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon that they tested no one. They are saying there's same amount of negatives and they've added one to positive but they didn't take one of the pendings and reduce it by one when they switched the positives from five to six. So I don't understand how there was no test done. That's 30.5 hours between number updates for Algoma region for COVID-19 cases. 30.5 hours. The assessment center here in Sault Ste. Marie is around the corner from my office. I drive by it every day. The last couple days, the parking lot's been full. How have we not tested a single person between 8.30 a.m. on April the 1st and 2.30 p.m. on April the 2nd? I have not taken any pictures driving by there because I don't want to, someone's car to show up and then rumors start spreading amongst neighbors that, oh, so-and-so's car was at the testing center. But I will say this, the parking lot's been full. Now, I'm gonna be back in a moment to talk about this with Councillor Matthew Shoemaker. We'll be right back after the break. 